morning viewers. What we're going to talk about today is the effects of parasites and worms creating chronic pain in the body. And I'm talking about this to, because today happens to be full moon. So why is full moon applicable for parasites and worms? That's the day when the parasites and worms multiply and leading up to the full moon, you can feel increased symptoms. So let's talk about the symptoms that you will be getting or can experience. And these will be headaches, blurred vision, uh, fog on the brain. A lot of people say that they've got cotton wool in their, in their brain and they have uh, difficulties with memory and remembering things and doing things and they can't concentrate. They also complain of joint pain, headaches, abdominal pain with bloating and lots of noise. You get itchy nose, so you'll sit and scratch an itchy anus, as well as diarrhea. And these are some of the symptoms that you can uh, uh, um, experience. With it, you'll have weight loss. Some people don't have the weight loss, they just have weight gain or struggling to lose weight. But you've got the definite the st stomach discomfort, you may even have nausea. Those are the symptoms that you're looking at. So if you have lots of animals at home, you want to detox yourself on a three monthly basis using Vermox. Alternatively, once a year, you want to do a parasite and worm detox, which you can get at your local chemist. And it says they literally parasite and worm detox. So do that once a year, do your Vermox every three months and you want to try and get it so that it falls over the full moon. So check your calendars as to when that is. This is quite important because many people will complain of the headaches and the body pains and they can suffer with this for many years. I've had several patients, I'll talk about them. The one lady had been suffering from the age of 13. She'd gone on an outreach camp for two weeks and she was in the townships eating their food and drinking their water. And when she returned home, she had the sudden fatigue that overcame her and she finished school, but she didn't really study much further because she was too tired and she used to sleep most of her life away. She couldn't do any sport. She didn't uh, amalgamate to too much. She, she got a basic job. And um, when we did the parasite and worm detox with her, um, because she'd been Googling these symptoms and said to everybody, but it feels like she's got a parasite and worm detox, but even if she did the Vermox, it nothing worked. So we did a three month parasite and worm detox that happened to fall over the full moon. So she would do the, the detox over the full moon, then you'll take a week or so break, and then you'll start again with the detox, but it must fall over the full moon. And after the three months, full moon cycles she was totally symptom free and was able to study further and has been able to take in art classes and started boot camp so she was able to change her life around. I had another young student who was struggling to concentrate at school and she constantly landed up in accident and emergency with migraines and nothing she did was working and she landed up on my doorstep. We did a parasite and worm detox because I've got animals um, at home and uh, within a few weeks, she was totally symptom free, didn't get headaches anymore, was able to concentrate at school. Her sister had started with anxiety and panic attacks as well as headaches. We did the detox with her and her symptoms cleared up as well. So don't underestimate the power of the, par the parasites and worms that they can influence the body significantly. So please remember at full moon, do your parasite and worm detox. Detox yourself from worms every three months with Vermox and um, get your animals detoxed with worms as well every three months as well. So um, you will know that your animal has got worms when they um, sit on the grass and they lift their hind legs up and then they scoot forward with their front legs, scratching their bum on the grass. That is indicative of worms in both cats and dogs. So please deworm yourself, deworm your animals and make sure you stay healthy. And that's one less symptom that we have to worry about as medical professionals. Thank you for watching. Bye.